Royal Caribbean's new flagship, Symphony of the Seas, completed her transatlantic crossing and arrived at her new home port of Miami, Florida in the early morning hours, November 9th. Wow, what a sight she was in the port of Miami for the first time, all lit up with spectacular color. The view of the boardwalk area at the back of the ship is always pretty darn impressive, even more so all lit up like this as she arrived before dawn. I haven't sailed on Symphony of the Seas yet. She's brand new, just out of the shipyard. I've sailed on her sister ships in the Oasis class, and if you're into cruising, you've got to try one of these Oasis class ships at least once. They've got features you just won't find on any other cruise ship. Now, Royal Caribbean sent me this video, and I'm happy to share it with you because they got some amazing shots of the ship. I don't know if they used a drone or a helicopter or what to get these aerial shots, but this is some great videography here. Just as most cruise ships do in the Port of Miami, she moved slowly down to the end of cruise ship row and then did a very slow 180 degree turn in the turning basin so that when she docks, she'll be facing out to sea. That way, once she gets her passengers all boarded, she can head straight out to open water in the late afternoon. I've stayed at the Holiday Inn next to that turning basin and watched cruise ships slowly spin around there before dawn, it's a very memorable sight for sure. The ship turns so slow though that here on YouTube, it's more fun to see it done in a time lapse. Once she completed the big turn in the turning basin, she came down to the brand new cruise ship terminal that Royal Caribbean built for her. I saw it under construction during a cruise earlier this year out of the Port of Miami. Now construction is complete and it is, by a huge margin, the most beautiful cruise ship terminal at the Port of Miami. It's the closest terminal to the ocean, the first one that ships pass when they enter the Port of Miami, so it's known as Terminal A. Royal Caribbean spent a ton of money on this terminal. They incorporated everything they've learned about how to speed passengers off a ship at disembarkation and how to speed passengers onto the ship at embarkation. It's funny, these Oasis-class ships carry far more passengers than most other cruise ships, yet Royal Caribbean has done such an amazing job of eliminating bottlenecks at embarkation that you actually get on these ships faster than you will on a lot of smaller ships that carry a lot fewer passengers. And one of the ways they've sped up embarkation is to make the security screening process a lot more efficient. This is the new security screening area, and they've done something very smart at the x-ray machines. Notice how the trays are down below that loading area. Those trays get automatically sent down as people unload them at the other end. That's pretty smart. These little improvements are the kinds of things I love seeing on new cruise ships and in the new terminals. The state of the art. Here's a quick look around inside the terminal. Based on my previous experiences with Royal Caribbean, I bet you'll get through that cruise terminal and onto the ship in a matter of about 15 minutes or so. Check out this amazing piece of art inside the cruise terminal. What a great idea, and I love that they actually rotate. It's great to see Symphony of the Seas in Miami. She and her sister ship Allure of the Seas are based there now for seven night Eastern and Western Caribbean cruises and three and four night cruises to the Bahamas. I'm Jim Zim. I like to keep you up to date on the latest in cruising. I only get so much vacation time in a given year, so I just can't cruise as often as I'd like to. It's great that Royal Caribbean always allows me to share the videos of their new ships that they've shot. 
If you're interested in booking a cruise, contact my travel agent, Caitlin Gallagher, the owner of Amberin Travel, and she'll take good care of you. 